Hey everyone, it's Elaine. Welcome back to week two of the fall collab. Now remember to check out the other collabers and YouTubers listed below. There again, like I've said before, there's not many of us, so it won't take you long to check us out. But remember also, like what they're doing and subscribe. Because on week four, each one of us is giving away some kind of prize drawing. You don't know what you're going to get. It's worth a try, don't you think? Anyhow, today, week two, is called DC. Now, what DC means is display card. Now, I get the gist of a display card. Never really thought about it before. And I am pretty computer savvy for most things. I just literally and perhaps physically, don't have the time to sit and do a lot of editing. I remember one lady once on YouTube saying that she spent approximately 12 hours every day just editing and playing with her videos. She had to stop, which then sort of discouraged her from doing YouTube videos. I never want YouTube to get where it's not fun. Nope, I'm not going to be one of those that post every day. Can't do it. I got to leave you wanting some more. So usually about once a week, sometimes twice a week is good for me. But that's what a display card is all about. To kind of put something in front of you to let you know perhaps what the video is about, to kind of say something that no matter when you come into the video or whatever, that you know what they're doing. So the collab, we were supposed to do a video, I mean, um, a display card, excuse me, about our video. And I don't know, I just decided to use mine to ask you to subscribe to my channel, to like what I'm doing. And if you really like what I'm doing, ding that bell so that when I do put up a video every so often, that you'll get a little notification that I've put up a new video. So this is my display card. It is simply a tea-stained piece of somewhat cardboard that I had. And I've just taken some chipboard letters I have a bazillion letters and and made this card. Now, these not so attractive but shiny leaves are how I made this fall. And let me tell you how I did it. I used drink cans, soda cans, pop cans. This happened to be from Fresca. Now, the one thing if you ever have die cut these aluminum cans before, first of all, you know, they will splinter. This will cut you. So you always need to be careful. The other thing about drink cans is that they stay curled. There is nothing, and I repeat nothing, and I'll say it one more time, nothing you can do to make these go absolutely flat. There's a TV show on that tells you how things are made. I actually watched one on making drink cans and they said the same thing. There is nothing. They purposely, should I say design or make this aluminum, that it stays curled for the shape of the drink can. And even though these are so thin, of course, what holds it together and keeps it, you know, in its shape are the top and the bottom of the can. And that's where you really have to be careful when you go to cut down a drink can. But I have used aluminum cans many times through the years. And then I just took a couple of little um, leaves, I think these are spell binders, and just put them on my Big Shot and added my extra plates and cut away. So again, I think it's pretty cool. 
you can usually paint aluminum you can ink aluminum distress ink it 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 holds pretty well um, there may be a time like with paint and stuff that you might want to put a or, excuse me a protector in over top of it kind of to seal it up but I personally have never had any trouble this time what I did is I have a lot of jars of gold leafing and this one is an assorted one and it's this is Calypso gilding flakes 200 milliliters let me tell you there is nothing to this weight and when you open this up you need to be careful because that gold leaf goes everywhere <laughs> I'm talking everywhere it is the funniest thing to me but this goes so far I can't begin to tell you and so you all know how I like yes paste it's not necessarily I will say the best way to put gold leaf or anything like that down but you simply make your surface sticky and the best thing is there's a sticky embossing powder I just didn't want to bury it I'm in the process of changing my art room up a little bit and I kind of have a few things piled up <laughs> So I thought I'd use my Yes Paste and I just took my finger and kind of put a coating on all the leaves and then went back to the first one and took a stipple brush and daubed on some gold leaf. These aren't bad. Yeah, they could probably be a little better. There's some naked spots, but you do get the idea that it's fall. So anyhow, that is my display card. So please subscribe, like, and if you would, ding that bell. And don't forget to check out the other collabs that are, are going on, the other collabers that are participating, and subscribe and like and ding their bell. You won't be sorry. And I will catch you down the road. And don't forget, week four, we're going to have that drawing. So the rules are that you have to make a comment on every video. You have to subscribe and you have to like all three weeks videos and we'll be keeping a little track sheet little list to be sure that happens and then on week four we each are going to be giving something away so i haven't quite decided what i want to do you all know that i like to upcycle so we'll see i might just bring something from work and put it together and that's what you'll end up with. And you might just be the lucky one. So catch you all later. Bye.